Guys, we got Stan back here in the backyard with us again today. We've got Chachita, aka Cha Cha T Fit, here with Fitbully TV. We're gonna give you a little first person today. It's just him and I, and uh, I like that approach anyway. <laughs> it makes it easier. One of the things that you got to do early on is establish value in your dog. Cha Cha is a super hyperactive dog. So, Stan, what's one of the things that you would do to calm a hyperactive dog down? Hmm, one of them would be give them something to do. So she likes to play, she likes to be active, she likes to do all those things. We will make her work for those things. Dang, she got gas over there? <laughs> farting up, you farting, baby? Um, create a routine for your dog. If you're gonna be waking up at the same time every day, make sure you get your dog on those routines so they start falling in line with what you want from them. There it goes. Yeah, she's about to free herself. And routines, people, objectively, are based on habits. Habits is really what routines mean. A habit means get your dog in the right state of mind. So after 12 o'clock, my dogs know that we're going to go out and play a little bit. And they start getting more frustrated if they don't get out. In the morning, they take their time. Like old people getting ready to go, hey, let me go out here and use the bathroom. Then they know they're going to get to go outside and play a little bit. <laughs> Uh, a little bit later and they're okay with that they know about 536 they're going to go on their walks and come back and be cool and then i rotate them in and out uh just you know give them some time with me so part of routine routine equals habits habits just like us humans set us up for long-term success in our lives when we don't have a lot of good habits a lot of bad things end up happening and when bad stuff happens worse things happen they say the um I don't mind is the devil's playground and it's even worse for dogs. If they don't have a routine, if you don't give them something to do, they're gonna start chewing on your couch. They're gonna start messing up their kennel. They're gonna start doing all those things. I mean, you've seen all of these bullies and Trev has wire crates. And I would say not to get a wire crate if you have these kind of dogs, but they're not busting out of the crates because they understand there's a routine. They chill for a little bit. They come out and get work. They're on a very good diet and all of that stuff matters. You won't have a destructive dog if you give them something to do. It's just simple. There you go. So one of the things also, people, is you establish value early. And Cha-Cha understands the value of both food and work, <laughs> to be clear. I mean, look at that. <laughs> and it's one step at a time. Patience, I think, is the one thing that people run into at times as well. <laughs> not knowing how to pace themselves. But not only is she thinking through things, she's also <laughs> physically thing. able to do things like this. Yeah, and she's AK a little low-key fearless. More fearless than I thought she'd be, if I'm being honest. Oh, she can't get up there yet. She can, but can't, but she can't, because we moved to higher for trying. Oh, yeah. The third one, she'd be kind of good for, but we'll get her there at some point. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. There we go. Cha-cha, there you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And that right there, too, people, just like a good parent, you give your dog a chance to do what? Trust you. So he put that hand back there saying, look, I got your back. And each one of those little moments builds <laughs> confidence. And in a perfect world, this time, she should up without any support. There because you go. she knows if she needs it, you're going to be there. But we already showed her that she can do it. And if you show these dogs that they can do something, they're going to be more likely to be able to do it. Man, and let me tell you this, people. I'll be honest and stand. I think we did a video the other day. You know, one of our primary focuses is going to be Bam Bam. And uh, he still is, but Cha Cha starts showing the things that we wanted to see, and you go, okay, where, what do we do? <laughs> we focus on Cha Cha. <laughs> yeah, you spend a little bit more time on the one that works. Yeah, and who's 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 a little bit more fearless? Mm -hmm. And you know where that come from? Her mama. So the irony is, is all the girls act like they mom and all the boys act like they dad. And that is not a good thing <laughs> when it comes to acting like Baloo because they're a little hesitant, they're a little reserved, they're not as motivated. No, come on, I got you. She <laughs> just say, I don't touch you like that. Come on, I got you. Come on. Yes, you can do it. Uh, <laughs> she's still up there. You know, that right there in itself is a feat because I go, wow. Cha Cha was the last one to get over this fence. Cha Cha was the one <laughs> who did some things that I was surprised. Matter of fact, at one point she hurt her leg and I was a little nervous. Um, and then she got better. She got better because I just let her like chill. And she heard it as early as what? What, 11 weeks or so? But she didn't hurt it where she couldn't put no pressure. I don't know what she did, if I'm being honest. I don't know what she got into. Something happened. That's all I know. And I wasn't around. And I was not doing anything with her. And then, boom, all of a sudden, she's back to normal. So, at any who, building value is literally you you becoming their person. You finding what motivates them, which in some cases is a treat or a toy. And then, most importantly, 
you spending time with them. It's like anything in life. You want your your relationship to grow with anybody, you gotta spend time. Quality time, even if you look at the love language test, probably one of the most important things. Because how can somebody trust you if they don't know you? And you gotta get to know your dog. I tell people all the time, hey, how do I, I'm like, how much time you spend with your dog, man? Okay. <laughs> well, you don't know your dog. <laughs> Tell me about, you know, how your dog acts in these situations. Oh, you didn't put him in those situations. I'll be doing a video on the rule of three here soon. But objectively, I'm not going to tell you in this video. So stay tuned. <laughs> Take care of your dog. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, share. One, one question, though. Yeah. So you were talking about her injury. Do you think the food helps them recover? Oh, so like fact. having a high quality food will help your dog for recover fact, for faster. Fact. She eats the best food on earth, period. She, there, is, there is no dog, in my opinion, more than likely eating better food than these dogs eat. That is a proven fact. And I'll probably do a feeding time video for y'all YouTube just so you can see what nighttime looks like, what nighttime feeding looks like. It looks crazy. And dental. So all of your dogs have clean teeth, very Damn, clean, teeth. clean teeth. Man. And it's because of the bones <laughs> and the chicken and the, the skin on all the stuff that they're eating. And people always have, why you keep your dog's teeth so clean? Well, I don't brush my dog's teeth. I'm not doing that. They're food. Food matters, people. All day, every day, people. Take care of your dogs.